what's up guys uh learning with rich here in this video we are going to continue the rest of our topic for placing the space so last video we have learned how to place a space on our floor plan and then we also learn how to place a space on an open plan so this time around in this exercise we're going to place a space in a chase and we're going to change the upper limit to account for the entire volume of the chase all right so let's get started as you can see if i'm gonna zoom in to this area here where the female and male located so there is a space here so we have the chase here so this is where we are going to place our multi-level space so it's not that difficult it's very simple okay so for us to be able to do that, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a section. So I'm going to cut from here to here. Okay. And then um, just select modify to terminate or deselect the section. So, okay. So just select the section. Let's flip that to the other side. So you see this icon here. So I click that and then it will flip to this side here. And then you see this. Uh, arrow here you can drag that to resize your section and then usually when I create my section especially if I'm gonna put that inside the sheet I make it a point to create a gap here so that the line of my section is not overlapping any elements and it will look uh, tidy okay so after I create the section so I'm gonna double click the head here to open the section just double click that and then this is now our section. As you can see, this is the chase that we are talking about from level 2 to our uh, roof level here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the other view, leaving level 2 space plan and section 27 open. And then I'm going to select tile views or just type WT. Okay, so here is now our view here. So what I'm going to do is, um, as you can see, if I hover my pointer here, so there's a space, right? But the problem is we can't see the shade of our space. So in this view, in our section view, I'm going to type VV or the visibility graphic overrides. Or aside from typing VV, uh, you, also, you can also go to the view properties and then look for visibility graphic overrides. So just click edit. And then from the graphics override on the model categories, let's look for uh, S spaces. Just expand that and then just tick the interior and then the reference. And then just select OK. So that you'll be able to see now the spaces. So this is where we are going to place the space. Okay, so I'm now going back again here on our level 2 space plan. So let's start <clears throat> placing the space. All right. So again, you know that already. Just go to the analyze. And then after that, select space. Okay. Select space. Right. And then we are going to make sure tag on placement is uh, toggled on. So we are on level 2 space plan. So let's say I only want to place the space from level 2 to level 3 so I'm going to select level 3 and then I'm going to change this to uh, 0 so we're going to place the space from level 2 to level 3 All right? and then I'm going to show you another way to change that let's say after the roof level okay so after we make that uh, level 3 offset is 0 horizontal new space so I am now going to pick to this chase here just click that to place the space and then right away you can also now see here the space that you just placed and then just select modify to terminate the tool all right now the next thing that uh, we are going to do is uh, let us modify the chase that we have placed so on my uh, section so I'm going to select this space here, and then from the properties, let's change the name. Okay, so this will going to be a chase. So this is going to be our chase. So let's change the name 
to chase, enter. And then for the number, let's say 225, and chase. Okay, so PC, and then apply. Okay, so it's now updated here. So if you have time, you can just tidy up your tags here. Because as you can see, it's now too crowded to this uh, place here. Anyway, um, after we place or modify our space, the next thing that I'm going to do is, let's say I have changed my mind. I want to put my uh, space here up to the root level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the space here. And then from the properties, I, by the way, I can also drag like this. Okay. So but instead, I select the space and go to properties and then here you can specify the exact uh, distance that you want. So let's say you want from level 2 up to the roof level and then let's say you want to have more space okay so you can specify the limit offset so instead of 0 so let's say I type 4 enter and then I'll just apply and there you go so it's now updated here Okay, so as you can see, um, bounding elements such as the walls, floors, ceilings, and roofs, it defines the extent of the space volume used in calculations. Because the chase space is limited by a bounding element, so you will notice here the space displays the volume up to the roof only. But actually, the space that we have specified is from the second floor up to the roof with the 4 feet offset here. And then if you're going to check the dimension, this is the dimension of that. So the area, perimeter, height, volume, etc., etc. All right. There you go. So that's how you place your uh, space on a multi-level. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do, last part of the exercise is let's put some tag. So I'm going to select level 3 space and then let me just maximize this one. So we're going to place tag here. So to place tag, you can go to the analyze again. So there's a space tag. So you can pick one by one, just like this, right? So you just pick, then just pick. So instead of doing that, so there's another way and faster way to place your space tag. So instead of picking one by one the space, so you can just go to the annotate tab. And then there's the tag panel. And then just look for tag all. So just click tag all not tag tool. And then from that dialog box, just pick the space tags. And then you can select here the type of tags that you want. It can be space tag only, space tag with area, or space tag with volume, which is what I'm going to use. Okay, so I'll just check that one. And then I'll just select your OK. And let us just wait. There you go. So we just place all the space tags that we needed to this level. OK, so now in this exercise, you have created a plenum level and a corresponding uh, floor plan view. And then we also use the space separation lines to create a newly a fully bounded area that was part of a large area. And then we also learn how to place spaces for various types of the areas. And then in our next exercise, in our next video, we're going to learn working with zones in order to control the spatial environment and perform an accurate heating and cooling loads analysis if ever you're going to use the heating and cooling loads uh, feature in Revit. Okay, but for now, thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.